Most concert goers will probably be unfamiliar with the Berio folk songs. How would you describe the work to an audience coming to it for the first time? Berio's folk songs is probably one of the best known pieces by Luciano Berio and uh, I would say that it's probably also by far one of the most popular ones. And it is a lovely uh, cycle of songs from uh, uh, at least five or six countries and uh, uh, Rinat will sing our wonderful solo, soloist who is very known now in Australia because uh, we performed uh, that already together before. Uh, she actually learned it because I asked her when, when I heard her singing Carmen, we were doing once in Munich Carmen together and uh, I, I said with that voice and with that ability of speaking so many languages you have to do folk songs and she didn't know the piece. So that's why she learned it first time for me and then we, we performed it a couple of times and it's a I'd say it's a fantastic, uh, uh, um, how do you say, uh, um, uh, circle of folk songs, of course. Now and then authentic, authentical, like old French songs or old Sardinian songs from Italy, or you have, and you have an Armenian song which closes this cycle. So, and it's a very, it can be very sad, it can be very bright, it, it's, it's, uh, it's got a lot of spirit and this, this cycle is one of the, I think it's, uh, it's going to entertain our, our audience a lot. Beethoven's Symphony No. 7, which is also in this concert, on the other hand, is core repertoire for the TSO. How do you, as a conductor, keep this music sounding fresh? Uh, well, we'll see the result, but um, first of all, I think uh, the first question now, uh, what one has to uh, uh, ask himself when he wants to perform a Beethoven symphony is now, what do you do with the, what we call in Germany Aufführungspraxis, means the way how you, inter how do you interpret the symphony, how you play it. And uh, so this, this, according to the latest developments, uh, the size of the TSO is actually right to play a Beethoven symphony. So that's why I think that this already, from that point of view, what we're going to try to do is to bring in a way uh, Beethoven in the Wagner spirit, because Wagner said about the symphony that this is the apotheosis to dance, so that's what I'm going to try to do. And, uh, and if we, if we manage to, to, to make it dance, then the dances of Galanta, who's going to open this program, is going to be even more, feel even more in place than uh, on the first glance, because you, you can again say, so dances of Galanta, why, why then uh, to end this program with the seventh of Beethoven? That's the link.